Please, Dad. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Once again, we'll be practicing or using the um, the second form of the penitential rite. So, just very simple. I will the two lines that you will both re be responding is, "For we have sinned against you, and grant us your salvation." So I will say, "Have mercy on us, on us, O Lord." The response will be, "For we have sinned against you." Then I will say, "Show us, O Lord, your mercy," and everyone will respond and grant us your salvation. So have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who have celebra celebrated the Paschal festivities may by your gift hold fast to them in the way that we live our lives through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When he entered Rome, Paul was allowed to live by himself with the soldier who was guarding him. Three days later, he called together the leader of the Jews. When they had gathered, he said to them, My brothers, although I had done nothing against our people or our ancestral customs, I was handed over to the Romans as a prisoner for Jerusalem. After trying my case, the Romans wanted to release me because they found nothing against me deserving the death penalty. But when the Jews objected, I was obliged to appeal to Caesar, even though I had no accusation to make against my own nation. This is the reason then I have requested to see you and to speak with you, for it is on account of the hope of Israel that I wear these chains he remained for two full years in his lodgings. He received all who came to him, and with complete assurance and without hindrance, he proclaimed the kingdom of God and taught about the Lord Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. The just will gaze on your face, O Lord. The just will gaze on your face, O Lord. The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold. His searching glance is on mankind. Lord. The Lord searches the just and the wicked, the lover of violence he hates. For the Lord is just. He loves just deeds. The upright shall see his face. The just gaze on your face, O Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I will send you to the spirit of truth, says the Lord. He will guide you to all truth. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you.
with you. Reading from the conclusion of the Holy Gospel according to John. Peter turned and saw the disciple following whom Jesus loved, the one who had also reclined upon his chest during supper and had, and had said, Master, who is the one who will betray you? When Peter saw him, he said to Jesus, Lord, what about him? Jesus said to him, What if I want him to remain until I come? What concern is it of yours? You follow me. So the word spread among the brothers that the, that, that disciple would not die. But Jesus had not told him that he would not die. Just what if I want him to remain until I come? What concern is it of yours? It, it is this disciple who testifies to these things and has written them, and we know that his testimony is true. There are also, there are also many other things that Jesus did, but if these were to be described individually, I do not think the whole world would contain the books that would be written. The Gospel of the Lord. In our gospel today, we have, <clears throat> we have the disciple asking Jesus, you know, what about this guy? What about this guy? What about this person? And then Jesus says, what concern is it of yours? You follow me. And sometimes we can do the same thing that the disciple does. We can be worried about others, about the faults of others. We can be overly worried about the punishment of others rather than ourselves and trying to do, do good for ourselves first, to be the best person that we can be. Instead, we can be focused on the wrongs of others, of how others have failed or made mistakes, or even the sins that they've committed. And instead of even trying to help the, that other person or pray for that other person, we become just focused on what they did wrong of what did their, their slip-ups or their weaknesses. And that's something that uh, we can do as Christians, but also just all peoples do it. All people do it. But that's something that Jesus Christ is saying in today's gospel to be careful of, of keeping our focus on what is important, and that is following Jesus. Of course, this, that's not saying that we can't, have, we can't show concern for our fellow brothers or sisters in Christ. But to, but to make sure that if we show that concern, that it comes from a place of love, just as it always did with Jesus. And that makes a huge difference. If we come, if we approach someone about a mistake that they did or, or a sin that they committed, but it has no love in it, then, that, then we're doing what Jesus was kind of reprimanding in today's gospel. And so today we really reflect on that. We reflect on what are the moments that we ourselves focused so much on the mistakes of others and correcting them, um, not for the sake of that person, not for love of that, our brother or sister in Christ, but just for our own pride or gratification. And we reflect on these moments of weakness that we have had ourselves and remember the words of Jesus in today's gospel. What concern is it of yours? You follow me. Please remain seated.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Holy Spirit coming near, we pray, O Lord, prepare our minds for the divine sacrament, since the Spirit himself is, in, is the remission of all sins, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, but at all times to claim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to love you yet more gloriously. When Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, for with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. 
that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. <laughs> Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. For those joining us through the live stream of the Mass, we will not be making an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Just a reminder that I think this is the last Mass that we'll be distributing communion at the end of Mass. Um, but uh, just a reminder that today we'll be distributing Mass, uh, communion at the end of Mass instead of right now at the usual time. So I ask that you all um, please be seated.
Let us pray. Hear in your compassion our prayers, O Lord, that as we have been brought from things of the past to new mysteries, so with former ways left behind, we may be made new in holiness of mind through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.